this evening, the book of Haggai, and then we'll also jump over to the New Testament there. And we'll uh, look at chapter 2 here, chapter 2 here, and uh, I'll use some of these verses here today. Uh, let's pick it up in verses 6. He says, And thus said the Lord of hosts, Yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. I will shake all nations and desire of all nations and shall come. And I will fill this house with glory, said the Lord of hosts. And the silver is mine and the gold is mine, said the Lord of hosts. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. And the Lord of hosts in this place will give peace, said the Lord of hosts. Amen. He said it a lot, didn't he? He said the Lord of hosts. Amen. And so I want to drop you to verse 9 again. He says, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former, said the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, said the Lord of hosts. Amen. So look for a little bit today. We want to just use that simply about uh, greater, uh, greater days ahead. Amen. Greater days ahead. Reverend, if you open us in prayer, please tonight. Amen. Thank the Lord tonight. We thank you for your giving also. Be mindful again. You can give online. Amen. Through our online giving, uh, text to give, and various things that, that, to that effect. But continue to support the work of the Lord. Amen. Uh, the latter shall be greater than the former. You probably heard, read this verse before. If you've never read it before, God was given a prophetic word about how the latter days would be better. We've used that statement before about uh, the best is yet to come or saving the best for last. Etc. Etc. We see how that we always tend to want to have that optimistic outlook. Amen. And, and, and many times in life uh, or in God, there are better days ahead. Amen. We have a blessed hope in Almighty God. We have a blessed hope in, in who He is. And again, this old earth that we live in right now, again, there are better days ahead in in, in our society, in our world, as we uh, look forward to going to heaven one day. Amen. But uh, from this Bible reading, I'll, I'll grab you this, and I'm going to have you jump to another place in the book of Acts. Uh, the Bible talks about here, uh, they were talking about the building of the temple. The building of the temple and various things and how uh, they will rebuild it and it will be better and, and, and various places of, of that effect because uh, they, as they went back, you go back and read chapter 1, they were, uh, had fallen to rebellion and because of rebellion. They had fallen because of unbelief and God had really sent judgment upon them. But God, by his mercy and by his grace, was going to give them another opportunity. Amen. Another opportunity and, and, and really that's the type of God we serve tonight. Perhaps, perhaps in your past uh, or your previous uh, things that perhaps you've done in, in, in your former life or your old ways, amen, or whatever case may be, we're thankful to God tonight for his grace and his mercy that he gives us another chance, amen. Another chance to make things right, another chance to turn things around. And, and in God, many times, he, he, he refers to from Genesis to Revelation how that, again, he always looks to us to look to the better or to the brighter side in life, amen. Well, it was in Genesis when he referred to uh, 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 how it said in chapter 1 how he, he called it good. But you read in Revelation, he called it great. Amen. How things will get great. Uh, he used that word great in many times. Uh, we read about also in Genesis where it said how Adam, the first Adam, as we read, how he, he, was, uh, he had the ability, uh, because of sin, he fell. And, and because of this, no doubt, what we read over in the New Testament, the second Adam came, as we know. In Corinthians, it refers to the second Adam and how the, it would be better. How many know what I'm talking about tonight? Amen. The latter shall be greater than the former. And so the first Adam who fell, who fell because of sin, now the, the one who defeated sin and, and overcame sin, Jesus Christ, we find him to be the greater tonight. The Old, the old Testament laws, amen, the old laws of old, the Old Testament and the laws of Moses uh, had its place. The former laws and the former things that God uh, uh, instructed or had God had instituted, uh, uh, these things really only could do so much. But thank 
thank God for the new covenant. Amen. In the latter days, and in, in the latter portion of the Bible, you read 2,000 years ago, there was a new covenant with man. Amen. Uh, the latter was greater than the former. Amen. And so on and so forth, we find this God always finds a way to do greater things than before. I mean, what I'm talking about today. Amen. You look back over your life and you can truly say, if you really look at it and say, you know what? God has brought us a long way. God has brought us a long way from where I used to be. Or how the things I used to do. Amen. We sing that song, I don't do them anymore because of the precious blood of Jesus Christ tonight. How many thankful for that tonight? Amen. Again today, we grow and we grow in the grace and the knowledge of Almighty God. And again, God has better things in store for our church. Amen. And for individual, each individual tonight. As I shared with you the other day, kind of touched on it. I said how that we are in the second half of 2019. The second half of 2019 and we believe in God for some greater things in the second half. Amen. Some greater things for the second half of 2019 as we just passed July uh, July 1st and this is the second half and, and I believe God can do some greater things in the second half. We, we oftentimes as we as a people uh, make New Year's resolutions and we have all these great goals and all these great things we'll do for 2019. We're going to do this. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to do this. I'm going to accomplish it. I'm going to save this much money. I'm going to have this by this time and, and you find yourself at the halfway point and you say, man, where is it? Amen. And but I mean, you begin to look at this, however, and we thank God for everything that's transpired, everything that's taken place. But I believe God has some greater things in store for us. Amen. As we said before, uh, again, the greater, uh, the latter shall be greater than the former. And so uh, we, we, as you follow God tonight, as you trust in God, as you believe in God, it is very possible that God can do some greater things as we allow him to. Amen. As you read here, the Bible says how, go back and read the chapters in 1 and chapter 2. The Bible says how he, he, uh, they had the, the glory of the Lord would fall again. Because you got to realize that the glory, the glory had stopped and, and the movement of God had stopped. And, and, and because of their unbelief and because of their falling, uh, they had fallen away from God. But he began to let them know that, again, better days could come as they worship God. Amen. And I truly believe as we dig deeper, we're talking about digging deeper and going deeper in God. There are some greater things in the former second half that we can see take place. Amen. In your life, in your heart, in your soul tonight, if you believe God with us, greater things can take place. The Bible says there was a shaking that was going to take place. He said, I will shake the heavens and the earth. And he says, in the sea and the dry land. Tonight, as you let, allow God to move in your heart, there could be a shaking up tonight. Amen. A shaking up of what has taken place previously. We need a good shaking up tonight. Amen. To where God can begin to shake things and move things. You think about the earthquake they had out, out on the west coast the other day. It shook some things up didn't it and, and, and God no doubt is able to shake things up to make changes to changes for the better amen and many times through earthquakes and various disasters they are always looking to improve uh, because of a shaking up uh, we were talking about uh, the, the hurricane that perhaps is on the way to Louisiana area pray for the folks down there and and, and, we, and I was saying how they, they, they believe they've made improvements to try to make it better for the next time and so for this time, times such as this, and so because of a shaking up, and many times in the former time of things that have gone wrong before, there's always a way that it can be a better day ahead. Amen. And, and in God, perhaps there's things in your past, as Paul wrote, he said, I forget those things behind us we've been covering, and I'm reaching forth to those things before me. Amen. I'm reaching forth to some greater days ahead, and as we look to God, there's some, uh, some greater things in store for your life. Amen. If you would give God your life and serve him and really dedicate and dig him that's some greater things ahead amen the bible says the latter days shall be greater than the former he was referring to the temple here and no doubt but we think fast forward to the new testament as you go back and read in the book of acts 17 the bible the apostle paul uh, referred to some, uh, some scriptures here and how he uh, let them know about how the god we, not, we serve a god that doesn't make things with hands or a temple that is not made with hands amen Again, he, he was referring, uh, the Bible says that Paul preached one time on the, on the, uh, uh, the hill, Mars Hill, there in Athens. And he began to see that there, uh, they worshipped, they worshipped, and they had an inscription called the unknown God. Uh, can you imagine up on the platform here, we have to the unknown God on the altar. And, and the Apostle Paul, he wrote, and he began to let them know, he says, they ignorantly worshipped them. They ignorantly worshipped a God that they didn't know. 
And that's really a tragedy to, 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 to not know the God, amen, of heaven. To not know the true and living God because of ignorance. And I, I truly, I thought about this and I said, you know what, in this second half, we pray that men and women will come to God and wake up to a reality in God. That the latter will be greater than the former, that many women will come out of ignorance and, and, and foolishness that they're involved in tonight and come to the wisdom of Almighty God. Amen. Amen. They will come to God and say, you know what, uh, again, it's, it's better serving God. Amen. And I believe that God can uh, erase the ignorance of men and women and, and the foolishness that men and women are involved in, the foolishness of sin, and God can transform lives in the second half. How many going to believe that with us? Amen. That God will begin to raise up and begin to bring men and women to the true wisdom of almighty God amen they ignorantly worshiped God amen the bible says but he says the God that made the world and all things therein seeing that the he the heavens the lord of heavens and, and earth dwelleth not in the temples made with hands no doubt in the old testament they were celebrating the temple of Solomon but we see today there's a greater temple amen and that's your body tonight amen your, your soul, your, your life today. The Bible goes on and says, he says, is neither worship with men's hands as though needed, he needed anything anyway. The Bible says that he's God all by himself. Amen. He's going to be God whether we like it or not. Amen. But oh, it's so much better when he's living down on the inside of your life tonight. Amen. It's so much better when he's able to dwell. No doubt he had to do things from above previously. But now he wants to live in men. Amen. So the latter, the latter part of, of, of this uh, uh, dispensation that we're living in, God wants to do it through men and women. Amen. That's why he told his disciples, he said, greater things can, uh, can you do, no doubt. You'll see and you'll experience because now he lives in you. Amen. They didn't have to just wait for the prophet no more. We don't have to wait for the moving of the waters anymore. We don't have to wait for some, something to fall from heaven anymore. But it can live down on the inside of your soul and your heart tonight. Amen. These men, they said here today, he's God. He now wants to live in your heart. Seeing he giveth all life and breath. In verse 25, it's Acts 17, 25. He said he giveth life and breath to, in all things. And hath made all blood of all nations of men for to dwell of, in all the face of the earth. And hath determined the times before appointed and is bound of their habitations. They keep reading the Bible says that they should seek the Lord if happily they fear after him and find him, though he uh, be not far from every one of us. For in him we live and move and, and have our being, and, and as certain also of our own poets have said, For we are his offspring. Bible began to tell us here today that he he live, he wants to live and move in our lives. He wants to live and move. They only knew God on the outside. In the old old testament, they only knew him from an external experience. But the Bible says now we can know him in a reality and we can worship him in spirit and in truth and he can live down on the inside of you. This doesn't have to be words on the page we've been covering. This doesn't have to just be something the preacher's saying tonight, but it can be something down on the inside of your heart tonight, amen, to where he lives in you, in, in your temple, in your body, in your soul tonight, to where you can experience a greater, greater experience in God, amen. Again, today we can experience it for ourselves. We can experience this mighty move of God in our lives. The Bible tells us in the book of James also the book of James chapter 5 it talk, talks about how to again uh, it, it was referring back to that latter rain. It was referring to a latter rain that would take place. A latter rain. How many look forward to the latter rain? It's outside raining today and, and we see the, uh, the rain that, that is on the way I would say and, and, and the rain's a blessing. Amen. And, and it was prophesied by Joel about how he will pour out the rain, the latter rain, a latter rain. Again, today, what a spirit of it was referring to the spirit of God in the latter rain. Amen. A, a, a refreshing and a moving of God in every heart and every soul. The Bible says it was for the children and the children's children. It was for sons and daughters that will believe in Almighty God. A latter rain. Again, today, we we find uh, in our last days. That we're living in many times. How can the latter be greater than the former? We see a busy devil tonight. We see him moving all around in our society. We see sin on every hand. But I believe that we serve a God that is even greater than that. No doubt we see all these things happening. 
But oh, we cannot limit the moving of God in our lives. Yes, amen. We cannot limit the power of God. Yes, we see sin on every hand. Yes, we see the devil working. But we serve a God, greater God than that. Amen. The word of the latter rain can be greater. Amen. The moving of God can be great in these last days we live in. It. Amen. A moving of God to work it, trump and overturn the moving of what the devil may be doing. How many believe it tonight? Amen. To where God can fill souls of men and women with the power of the Holy Holy Ghost in the latter rain, amen. With this latter rain, a rain, no doubt, that who wants to move in every heart and every soul tonight, amen. The latter should be greater than the former, the latter should be greater than the former tonight, and amen. In every heart, every soul, we find God does things greater things than before, and so we see a greater outpouring. As Paul wrote it, he said, I'll show you a more excellent way. And he went on and, and was speaking of the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit takes us to excellence. Excellency, amen. No doubt, again, it takes us to new levels. As we covered in Bible said about the lengths and the depths and the breadths of which God can do in our lives. We haven't seen anything. Y'all believe that, amen. Just barely scratching the surface of what God will do even in 2019, amen. In your life, church, don't limit God for what he can do in your heart tonight. Amen. How am I going to say this tonight? I'm not going to limit God for what he has in store for me and my heart and my soul tonight. There can be greater things in store. Don't just settle for what you have right now, amen. And tonight, church, we don't want to settle for just what we have right now. I truly believe that we'll see a growth in our attendance, amen? A growth in seeing men and women that, that will come out of ignorance and come to God. They will come out of foolishness and come to the wisdom of Christ. They will come out of sin and come to, again, to repentance and come become saints for God. Amen. We'll see in the, in the latter days ahead here today, the former, the second half of this year, a mighty growth. I believe that. How many going to help us see that? Amen. And church of the day, we begin to see it can be greater as we move in by faith in greater things. I believe God can move in greater miracles in our lives. Amen. As we got to elevate our faith, let our faith be greater now than ever before. I believe that. Amen. As we see again an enemy is raising up and doing, uh, oh, he's really putting doubt and fear and more and more as he puts doubt and fear in men and women's hearts in these days we're living in. This is a time for our faith to grow even stronger. Amen. In the latter days, let our faith outweigh the lies of the devil tonight. Amen. The latter shall be greater than the former. Let our faith grow even more in these last days. Let our blessed hope become greater. Let our faith in God become greater. Let our devotion and our walk with him become greater. Let the power of God be move, move in a greater way. As you saw the progression of miracles in Christ, it seems as if it got better and better as it went on. From the beginning of the first miracle of the water into wine, amen, to the blinded of eyes, and to the deaf being uh, uh, unstopped, uh, deaf being able to hear. Now again, from the lame beginning to walk, it seems as if it got greater and greater as it went on. Uh, you saw how the, he fed the 5,000 again, but I, I can only imagine in his back of his mind, they hadn't seen anything yet. Amen. They, can you imagine how it got better and better as the days went on? As they saw him, I, I again uh, uh, caused the storm to cease, speaking to the winds. Amen. No doubt they begin to scratch their heads and say, man, what manner of man is this? They begin to wonder and say, what manner of man? Uh, 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 we, we thought we saw something greater, but man, there was greater more to come. Amen. Can you imagine again all of the things that they saw, even uh, when the storms arose, how he came and walked on water? No doubt they, they said, man, can, what more can he do? We said, says, well, Peter, come on out and see that you'll see it also in your life. Amen. And, and on and on and on, we saw how, again, when they approached various ones that were dead, how he raised them from the dead, whether it was at the funeral procession or whether we was telling Lazarus to come forth. Again today, these greater things, they got, it progressed greater and greater. Are you listening tonight? Amen. That's the type of God we serve all the way down to the crucifixion. And when he died on the cross, as he hung there, no doubt they saw the blood being shed. They saw how uh, uh, he died and gave up the ghost and they thought that it was over. But all oh, church, it was not over. It was the best was yet to come. Amen. The best was yet to come as he sat there in the grave. And no doubt uh, uh, they, they, they saw one day one go by, uh, day two go by, day three uh, came and no doubt, but on that third day he 
got up out of the grave. Thank God for that tonight. Amen. He got up out of the grave, and no doubt we see the, the latter was greater than the former. Again today on the cross, again in verses, again getting out of the grave with all power in his hand, and rose from the grave tonight, church, that we serve a great God tonight. Amen. Not only that, but no doubt he told him, he says, we go and tarry in, in, in Jerusalem. You're going to see something greater than that. No doubt they thought that he was going to come and set up the kingdom. No, he was coming. No doubt, again, he was going to allow them to spread the kingdom. Amen. To spread the kingdom because he wanted not just them to see it. He wanted everybody to see it. No doubt, and it was through you and I tonight. And so he told them to go and wait in Jerusalem. And the Bible says that a mighty rushing wind came to that place. A shaking took place. Amen. A shaking. As, as we talk about here over uh, in, in Haggai a shaking took place in that room the moving of the Holy Spirit took place amen uh, uh, how, it was no longer just on words but the prophecy was about to be fulfilled where men and women would experience the power of the Holy Ghost tonight church if you've never been baptized with the Holy Ghost I challenge you tonight come get filled with the Holy Ghost it will be greater than the former amen pray for salvation thank God for salvation but it's not like the power of the Holy Ghost moving in your life amen it's something about the holy ghost when it comes into your life it takes you to a whole nother level things you've never experienced before are done through the power of the holy ghost amen amen and so they begin to see we hadn't seen anything they hadn't seen no doubt he says greater things you would do and so they went from towns and villages and they were able now to cast out devils. They were able to see the, uh, the, the sick healed. They were able to see the lame walk. Greater things were going to be done. Them. And no doubt as we see uh, it passed on to you and I tonight and it goes on from generation to generation the same thing. Amen. That the latter shall be greater. I believe God wants to have more momentum to take place. Amen. That was a springboard but God is not done church tonight. Amen. God is not done he's not done how many believe tonight god is not done amen this is not just something for for them back in the day but it's for all of us tonight and i believe that tonight we can see even great and greater things tonight that's what he told us amen god's not done god is not done church amen we live in a world where he says he's done he's not dead he's still alive god is not you may be dead but he's not dead tonight amen Tonight he wants to move in your life, amen. Greater things, no doubt, we can see take place in the latter days. And again, we see again a great devil, but there's a greater God tonight. The Bible, Reverend Corner early said, the enemy's under our feet tonight. Amen. You may see him rearing up his head. That's all right, but he should be under your feet, amen. You can raise up your head all you want, as long as you're under my feet, amen. Tonight, church of the day, we serve a great God. He went on and told him, he said, hey, the ladder shall be greater. The moving of the Holy Spirit will move. And no doubt it will move in a mighty way like never before. And the greater, no doubt, is when we see, uh, again, how they, again, men and women will be saved. Before, they can only hope to be saved. They can only hope to have that relationship that we have now. They only hope when they came to the temple that they would experience it. But we can take it everywhere we go. Everywhere you go, you can have an experience of the moving of God. That's why I was greater than the former. Because again, it now lives in you. Let it live in you. To where you go, it'll be with you. He'll go with you all the way to the ends of the area. He'll go with you through the sticking through the thin. He'll go with you when you're all by yourself. He'll go with you, amen, even when your back's against the wall. Realizing that again, uh, uh, it, it'll, uh, it will soon pass. Amen. That God will give victory through it all. Many times we see the enemy fighting. We realize again, the bigger the battle. The bigger the battle, the bigger God's going to bless. I believe that. The bigger, no doubt, the issue, the bigger God can show out. And show how much greater that he is. No doubt the greater, again, the end of the day, the obstacle, the greater God can move in a life. I believe that tonight. And church, as we go forward, I believe that these latter days can be greater. Greater days ahead. How many going to believe that with us as we finish up? Come on up, Sister Mary. Greater days ahead. Greater days ahead. Again, today, we already seen the momentum take place. But, whoa, we've only scratched the surface of what God has in store for the church. What God has in store for your life, 
you haven't seen anything yet church greater days ahead the latter shall be greater the outpouring shall be greater the moving of God shall be greater the increase of God the manifestation of God the revelation of God can be greater as you allow God to be greater in your life church we allow God to be greater amen will you put those things behind you and start looking forward let's go forward amen then the former they dwelt in the former they dwelt in the past but God has said, I'm doing a new thing, a new season, amen, in almighty God. And today, church, as we bow our heads in reference to God, God wants to do a greater thing in your life, a greater work to higher ground we go, to greater victories, to greater days ahead. Listen to what he says in James as we finish. The Bible says to today, be patient, therefore, brethren. Unto the coming of the Lord, behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruits of the earth. And how long patience for him? Until we receive the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. He said, the coming of the Lord draweth near. And churches, we look forward to this early and latter rain. And he's coming again. And the movement of God, even now as we speak, Again, that he draws near. As we draw near to him, he will draw near to you. Draw nearer to him. A closer walk with him greater days ahead. Church, as we stand to our feet tonight, let's look to the Lord in prayer and believe God for greater things. Greater moving of God. Greater than ever before. In you. In us. Greater tonight. Greater prayers. Greater faith. Greater miracles greater blessings in store for you, you and your family a greater walk with him believe in God for a greater number of souls an increase of souls to see an outpouring of our youth a greater move a greater revival believe in God for a great revival to come through the land to where to shake up New York City to shake up the souls of men and they'll see a powerful move of God to where souls are come and dedicate their lives to God. Let this start with us tonight. Saying, God, I want a greater move in my life. A greater walk, a closer walk with Jesus. To move God in my heart and my soul. To experience that latter rain, that refreshing, that renewal, that same power of the outpouring that you promised. Upon every soul, upon our youth, God, we pray for our youth tonight. God, there will be a greater move. Greater than what the enemy is doing, a greater move by your Holy Spirit. The word men and women, young, you'll raise up preachers, God. You'll raise up youth on fire for God. To raise up youth, to catch on fire for the Lord, to come and serve you. And God to live for you. God to raise up families of youth, our men and women, families of our loved ones today, that they'll come and catch on fire for God. Greater work, the children's church, God. Uh, and all these different things that God for your church you say you'll build your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it and God tonight we pray God build your church build your people and God we believe in you for a greater move of almighty God whatever it is in your life tonight pray but let's believe God for higher ground better days let's go before the Lord and pray tonight whatever you have need of how big the obstacle is pray greater prayers believe God for greater things magnify the Lord with us and let's believe God as we look to God in prayer tonight. The altar prayer is open. Come on to the altar. Let's trust God tonight for greater things. Amen.